Today we're going to be talking about some of the core design productivity improvements in Creo Parametric 1.0. So sketch-based features are probably the most commonly used features. And now what we're going to see are some of the improvements we've done that dramatically improve the productivity working with these geometry creation methods. So the first thing you'll notice is that going into sketch-based features is dramatically faster than in past releases. At this point, all I have to do is pick a plane or have a plane selected when I enter, let's say, an extrude or revolve, and I'm automatically in the sketching environment. Once I'm in the sketching environment, doing things like orienting your section, basically setting up the view the way you want it to when you start creating that geometry, once again, a lot faster in Creo Parametric 1.0. Finally, when I start actually creating the geometry, you'll notice that I can pick references on the fly. All I need to do is hold down the Alt key, and then I can just start selecting, let's say, an edge that I want to sketch a line parallel to, or maybe there's a circle or a hole that I want something to be con uh, concentric with. All of these things, again, are much smoother, faster, easier to do in Creo Parametric 1.0 than they were in past releases of, of uh, Creo Elements Pro. Now, once I leave Sketcher, you'll notice a few other improvements and changes. One of the big ones is we're doing something called a real intersected or dynamic preview. So you'll see that as I move from adding material to removing material, it's actually showing me a real preview of what that intersected geometry looks like. In past releases, you'd have to actually create the feature and basically have that geometry regenerated to see exactly what that cut's going to look like. So if I'm doing extrusions, let's say, up to a surface or something like that, it's much easier to see really, you know, what you see is what you get. Faster, smoother modeling, basically a lot more exactly what it's going to look like when I create that geometry. Some other improvements that we've done as far as geometry creation are things such as adding taper or draft directly to the extrude features. So if I'm creating a cut or a protrusion, once again, automatically I can tell Creo Parametric, do I want to add a taper to that thing or not? And then finally, once I've defined that feature and I'm moving on, you'll also notice that all of the editing capabilities are now unified. So if I go into edit a section once I've actually, or edit a feature once I've created it, or I want to edit it during the definition, all the dimensions used, uh, let's say in the section, are available directly in that feature redefinition, as well as the dynamic edit capabilities, which used to be separate from edit, are once again completely merged and it's the same capabilities. So all these changes, basically in Creo Parametric 1.0, these enhancements dramatically improve your design productivity.